Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6 we are working on lesson number 16 and that means that we are constructing perpendicular line segments and analyzing the relationships of different coordinate pairs. So this is very similar to the work that we were doing last night and I'm going to do one problem, most one problem, uh, with you today to try to get you going on your homework. So let's take a look at problem number one. Use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks and it looks like we've got at least, oh, we've got um, a through E here. Now I realize you guys have a couple more after that, um, F and G, but I'm going to do A through E with you together. So let's see, first we're going to do, first part, 1A, we are going to draw line segment PQ, and I can see that the point P is here, let's see, that point is at 2, 4, that's point P, and I can see Q is over here, and that looks like it's at point 6, 3. Okay, so I need to draw the line segment. I'm going to pick my blue pen and my line tool, uh, I'm going to go with my skinny line here because I don't want to get too much stuff in the way. And let's see, I'm going to get it from P over to Q. That's going too long. Let's see, there we go. I think that's about right. Excellent. P, Q. Now, so we've done that part. Let's do the next one. The next one is, oh, plot point R at 3, 8. So let's see, 1, 2, 3. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that looks like it's it. Point R at 3, 8. So let me put a dot there. And I'm going to label that R. Oh, and then now the next part, oh, draw PR. So now we have to draw a line from P up to R. Okay, I'm going to get my trusty line tool again. And I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to move that over to PR. A little too far. There we go. It's a good line segment, PR. So let's see. Now what's D? D. Explain how you know that RPQ is a right angle without measuring it. RPQ, let's see. So I'm remembering my angle is described by one of the vertices. So R, then the main point at the main angle, and then Q. So RPQ. So this, how do I know that that is a right angle without even measuring it? Hmm. Well, let's see, how do I know that? Because I have to agree, it does definitely look like a right angle. Well, let's see, what I remember yesterday is that we used the triangles formed uh, by each of the uh, line segments to figure this out. So I'm going to switch to my red marker for a second, and I'm going to notice that there is a triangle right here, I'll shade it in here, there's a triangle right here that has, uh, let's see, it looks like a height of one unit, and a width here of one, two, three, four units. And I noticed something yesterday, which is that we sort of, if we sort of move, make a copy of that triangle over here, I'm gonna do it in red as, as well. If we make a triangle over here that is the same size, if we can make an ex exact triangle, and let's see, that is one, two, three, four units high by one unit wide. So it's exactly like this triangle, it's just sort of oriented differently. If we can do that, then we know that the two non-right angles, this one and this one right here, will add up to 90 degrees. And since this uh, line here that goes through point P is 180 degrees, right, this big sweep is 180 degrees, and this plus this is 90 degrees, that leaves this remaining angle as 90 degrees. So that's how I would explain it. Um, let's see, I don't know, how would I do that in language? I would say the two... Uh, the two identical triangles meet at P and add up to 90 degrees. That's how I would explain it. That my two angles here and here meet at this point and they add it to 90 degrees, and that leaves 90 degrees more for this angle, R, P, Q. And that's all I'm going to work on, except for number E. Compare the coordinates of point P and Q. What is the difference in the X coordinates? Compare point P and Q. What is the difference of the X coordinates? Well, the difference of the X coordinates from P to Q, let's see, it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4. So I would say there's 4 units difference, 4 units of X, and how many different different units of y. Well, just one, right? From p down to q is just one unit of y. So one unit of y. Awesome. Well, I'm going to leave f and g for you as well as problem number two. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.